All right, then what's up guys? Today we're doing another Pico CTF challenge and the challenge we're going to be doing today is going to be called event viewing. So with this challenge, it tells us one of our employees at our company has switched or infected by malware. It turns out every time they try to switch on the computer, it shuts down right away after they log in. The story given by the employee is as follows. They install the software, they ran the installed software. Now every time they boot up and log into the computer, a black command prompts quick click quickly opens and closes the computer and shuts down instantly. See if you can find the evidence to these events and retrieve the flag. Split to three pieces from the correct logs. Now you could directly download the logs here, which I already did beforehand. And we get two hints. Try to filter the raw logs with the right event ID. Or what could, you, what could the software have done when it was ran, causing everything to shut down? So to solve this challenge, you simply want to go on the log events on Windows. And how I was able to do it was just simply wait until this thing loads up. Once it loads up, you're able to uh, firstly save all the events into a more readable format, which I found uh, CSV to be a lot more helpful. And I'll just call this CTF. You could name it whatever you want, but I'll just name it CTF. And I'll save it right here. And then I'll just have to go to my desktop folder and just get it from there. Because I'm pretty sure that's where I saved it. Um, it's my documents. Oh. Where did this say? Oh yeah, I low-key forgot where I saved it. Uh, virus... No. Zoom... Maya... I honestly forgot where I saved it. So right here, did I save it? Oh, that's my document here. Opens it up, and now how I was able to solve this challenge was first thing I thought was like, what else could I look for? If I just simply look over here and quickly just glancing at it. See if we can find anything that seems helpful, but like you said, there's so much data we have to go for. And it also said it's separated in three parts, which makes it a little bit more difficult for us to see what's going on. So we get all this stuff. So the casual solution is just to keep on lucky and trying to find something that makes sense for you. But what I found pretty interesting is that you could, for example, if you've done a bunch of CTF and the level of hardness the CTF is, it's a medium challenge. So what I thought right away was to look for anything that was encoded. And my thought was something that was encoded in Base64. If you guys don't know, Base64 can be encoded. And usually the encoding ends with two equal signs. So that's what I did. So I did Control F and then look up equal equal. And then... I went up to both times where we got both equal equal at which was right here immediate shutdown pico ctf so i'll just copy this copy right here and then base 64 decode decode that that's part of it right there so we got part of the flag right now and then we go back right here and then we go find the other part which is right around here this is the second part that they found so we go right here so delete this part so we got pico ccf fan viewer It is a pretty useful mm -hmm. P 
Kriegen. And the next part is to look for another one. So oh, you're looking for equal. Let's see one. One, two. So where is let's see. So it's at the very end. I usually see both of them. So that's the first part. That's the second part. So if we keep going down right here, we should, if we keep our eyes on the lookout, we should see something that equals to a base 64 string. Just keep our eyes on the lookout because it's about to end either way. So keep looking. Hmm. Has to be a hint around here. Hmm. So this is where we reach a crossroads because we have to find something that equals to that. So. Let's keep on looking, let's see if we can find something that equals to that. So we do equal, which is a lot, but we will start from the bottom. And we got that part, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we got the first one. Right? Wait, we think about it we're just missing the end part so what's this at the end so encode dollar sign and then if let's say we add what it change it will always be ft oh it changes every time so we could even like make that so like T equals T TH Nope. This is a bit more difficult to look for it.
Oh, right here. Don't have to read or write up. Uh, it was like what, halfway up here. So it took a while to find. So if we went with zero equals zero. Mm, so it was both ways. So we could have found that just using that previous one. Which is what, yeah, zero equals. So we go back right here. Grab that. Grab this, control C. Control V and then decode. And we get it. So control C. And do right there and we solve this challenge. So yeah. That's about it. Hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.